Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to One World Online monthly webinar. And we are very excited to share our news uh, with our community. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. And we, we are going to start with highlights. And uh, uh, our CEO, Alex Fedosev, he's going to present uh, the main hi highlights of uh, this month. Alex, please. Yes, thank you, Anastasia. Yeah, good morning, everyone. And uh, there are many things happening at One Road, both as a company and also as a part of a bigger ecosystem, which you're well aware of that we're becoming in the blockchain um, industry. So I'm really happy to share that we're combining the best of One Road, our traditional tools for interactive promotion and feedback collection with a very exciting market with big budgets, which is all about the large scale ICO and STO promotions, where the Facebooks and Googles are not um, providing services. So it's a big gap that we're filling in. And I think we're doing a very good job uh, promoting it. So our strategy today is very laser focused on uh, this uh, product and operation needed to support these deals. Okay, and our main channel continues to be blockchain generation, which is our Redwood City based partner uh, with a growing number of customers, uh, staff, and uh, recognition in the industry. One World is the marketing arm of blockchain generation. So all the projects come into this channel, uh, executed by a group of companies where One World is playing the role of all marketing. It means um, use of our tools, widgets, promoting uh, this uh, token offerings and uh, collecting the feedback at the same time. And it's uh, highly targeted and very efficient tools. So we have a few case studies already developed and a few more in making. So we believe this is a great uh, channel for us. We continue focusing on that and become the best in the world of doing this with the many, many customers coming which you're gonna hear about. Uh, on the team side, we added two more people in the US Northwest region that doing both strategic and tactical support for us. One more on AIP, intellectual property and legal side, Jurgen, and uh, the other person, Spencer Kelty, who is also helping us in uh, account management and uh, operations, such as content, uh, interacting with accounts, especially in the US. And these two gentlemen are really, really good addition. They are both part-time, but uh, they're very, uh, useful resources and uh, doing great job. On the product side, you will hear updates from Dan, uh, but our focus, as I mentioned, is going to stay on campaign management. So we believe that the automation of operations is the key to success. Technology is great, but the operation excellence is even more important. So this automation that we will complete by December in three major milestones, October, November, December, is going to lead to the token circulation support in automatic fashion. So this is uh, the product focus. Of course, there are some small improvements coming on the way, but the campaign management is the key and uh, the big one. On operational side, we have Logan Johnson here on the call, who is um, out of Kansas, who is our lead on the uh, AdOps and uh, business development. So he's building an unprecedented prime ad exchange that is focused on token blockchain type of deals and aggregating both demand and supply. So he'll talk about, about this a bit more, but uh, I'm very excited because I think that's, uh, in addition to technology, that's what we need. It's a, a nice combination of demand and supply coming together with optimizations and very smart management to support our business projects. Uh, what's interesting in the industry, and now we see two trends happening at the same time. While the cryptocurrencies are very volatile, you know, and they're going through the normal cycles of ups and downs, but um, the amazing news is the quality of new tokenization deals coming to the market are extremely high. And you can see it from reports from PwC, from KPMG, from other industry leaders, from Crypto Valley in Switzerland. They all report in the same thing. There's less projects, but uh, much, much higher quality. And that's essentially what we're doing. We partner with the ones that have really good stories, good product, and uh, real um, business case, the tokenization. And a few examples you'll hear about. Um, many of them already signed up and some of them in development. Uh, so we're really excited that uh, the industry is correcting itself and very much like dot-com era. There's less and less mediocre projects or the projects without essence and more and more the good ones. And we, of course, are right in the middle of this uh, trend. And in terms of events, Anastasia will tell you more, but um, it was really 
dance in the month of October. We presented and participated in quite a few industry events in US, Europe, and Asia, and will continue into November. So that's my highlights. I'm very proud of the team. I think everybody's doing hard work and smart work to continue building our story and become the best promotion and feedback collection tool in this blockchain tokenization industry. And we'll stay on this track and um, with a focus and uh, execution. Uh, I think we'll achieve a lot this year. So looking forward. Thank you very much, Alex, uh, for your uh, great highlights. And um, now we are moving to business updates and um, our um, um, a business development and customer success uh, manager, Claudia Castorellas, uh, please uh, uh, take over. Hello, everyone. It's Claudia Castorellas. So, yeah, it's really great to have you all here at our monthly webinar. Um, um, I'm, as Anastasia mentioned, I manage and oversee the preparation and execution of the interactive campaigns for our partners. ICOs and brands and uh, yeah I'd like to talk uh, a bit more about the partners about uh, the business and uh, where the industry is going where what Alex already outlined um, like in a great manner so recently I, I've been to a crypto summit in LA actually it was this week and what caught my attention is exactly what Alex was highlighting so this is the emphasis put on the uh, ICO market on how the ICO market has changed over the last uh, few months and how everyone working in this space or willing to put some money into it should adjust. So uh, there's a lot, uh, there's much more like regulatory scrutiny in the ICO uh, market, which is great. Uh, it all makes everyone feel safer, uh, but also which imposes us to select our partners even more cautiously than, uh, than before. So um, indeed, we are truly excited about all the poten potential ICOs uh, in our pipeline, uh, but the quality of those projects can be compromised in any aspect. And that's why we, we do examine every, every project thoroughly before committing to it. Um, and before me and the team start crafting the marketing campaign for those projects. So uh, yeah, having a big pipeline of ICOs is good, but having a pipeline which is a high quality uh, pipeline of high quality projects, uh, it's even better. And, and that's our mantra. That's what I try to um, introduce and, and follow. Uh, so yeah, there are some partners that we already signed contracts with and uh, partners uh, we are still uh, in talks with. So we partner with some companies like uh, Zoom, True, or M-Time already um, in some fields. And of course, the marketing campaigns for those partners will follow. Uh, also, there are some companies that we are still in talks with. Um, you can learn more about them uh, from the slides, like, for example, Alex, which is a new system of passively managed crypto. Basically, it introduces uh, uh, less risk, uh, less fees to any crypto investors. Um, it's, more, it's a more inclusive system. Uh, so there's no geo or income barriers in terms of entering it, uh, which makes it uh, far easier than anything uh, which exists on the market. Uh, another cool project that uh, we are really excited to, to be uh, a part of, and we are really excited about contributing to, to this uh, great project is Envelope. So it's a virtual envelope uh, in which you can lock emails, any content you produce and send to anyone, and you can fully control the content you're sending. You can uh, delete it, block, uh, alter uh, whatever you uh, whatever you suspect any breach of data or any any risk. So uh, there are other projects we've been uh, talking to like Smart, Smart Valor, Lapo, Smart Stamp, Lancor. So all of them are in our immediate pipeline. But since I already um, shared some thoughts on the changes in the market, we are very cautious about. Uh, who we work with and we examine all of those projects um, and conduct the audits very thoroughly to make sure that people we work with and the ideas we work on are the, the best ideas in the market. So that's what I really would like to stress. Uh, if you have any other questions regarding the pipeline, regarding the projects, feel free to reach out to us. I will be more than happy to share more details about the projects and, and the projects in general I work on. So yeah, that's, that's from my side. Thank you and have a great day. Hello all, this is Logan Johnson, and I oversee One World's technical advertising operations and publisher development. 
October was a productive month, and there are a lot of initiatives focusing on growth and progress, pushing us towards closing the year strongly. Our first major update is the scaling of our supply reach. Throughout October, we have tested the ability to secure advertising inventory by bidding into third-party network traffic. The release of this update will allow our process to instantly access traffic on any domains requested by our advertisers, which are not covered in our established network of publishers by programmatic means rather than having to negotiate deals with human sales teams, which generally takes a few days to weeks, depending on the situation. This allows One World to scale the efforts of its direct advertising business while also serving our clients in a more efficient manner. The second major initiative is the creation of the Crypto Prime Ad Exchange for publishers. And with this exchange, we're working to become the definitive solution for advertising in the blockchain and ICO space. This exchange will solve many of the top issues faced by publishers in the industry including lack of competition among advertisers, which leaves potential ad revenue on the table, and lack of deal flow execution by sales teams, barring publishers from filling their maximum potential inventory, among many other smaller issues we're seeing. We're putting some finishing touches on materials to initiate a large-scale marketing campaign towards publishers in the space. Uh, the launch and growth of this exchange will drive our business on both sides. A larger publisher network will continue to attract the interest of more advertisers looking for a larger reach. And on the other side, a larger group of active advertisers with high paying deals will attract the interest of more publishers looking to monetize their website more effectively. In addition to the Crypto Prime Exchange, we're also updating our sales processes in general to push growth of permanent direct publisher deployments. We are leveraging our high CPM direct deals and media spend as media buys with new publishers, showing these new clients right off the bat the value added of working with One World tools. The high performance from the start along with our advertising technology and pipeline of advertisers to continue expanding upon that high performance will motivate the new publishers to work with our tools in a permanent manner rather than temporarily from campaign to campaign. Finally, we are continuing to improve on our programmatic advertising stack. We're in integration phases with nine new programmatic advertising network partners, which represent hundreds of thousands of advertisers. The addition of more buyers into our header bidding ad stack continues to build the competition for publisher impressions, driving higher fill rates at higher CPMs, which ultimately produces higher revenues for our publishers. In conclusion, these points will work in conjunction to produce a larger network of publishers being monetized more effectively with stronger advertising performance. That's all from me at a high level this month. So back to our host, Anastasia. Thank you very much, Logan. Um, great news and we are really excited uh, to, um, to make our platform even uh, better for, uh, for both supply and demand side. Um, so thank you very much. And now we are, uh, we are going uh, to to the part of marketing and events update, uh, which is uh, uh, which is going to be uh, uh, led, led by me. Um, I am uh, director of marketing and events. Uh, uh, my name is Anastasia, and um, I'm very excited to share our main uh, highlights of this month. And uh, our month uh, started with. Uh, participation in a uh, conference uh, held in San Francisco Blockchain for Social Impact Summit. Uh, our head of product, Dan Daniel Brodovich, he gave a talk on the marketing for humanity topic at this summit. Uh, One World Online strongly, be strongly believes in a better and fairer advertising that gives back to society with the use of blockchain. And we believe that 
um, in the necessity of building a strong community of companies which are changing this world for a better and more prosperous future. Um, and uh, therefore, we partner up with the blockchain generation and we are helping uh, high impact companies to roll out to the market. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, talk about this a little bit more in a few slides. But next event was actually uh, held in London and our CEO, uh, he flew to London to participate in this conference. And this is very, um, very unique uh, conference in London. It's about international investments, businesses of successful private investors and uh, entrepreneurs. And Alex uh, led a masterclass on investing in fintech and blockchain. Uh, this event was very well um, attended and uh, uh, we, uh, we had a lot of leads and uh, uh, partners uh, from this um, participation. Uh, and uh, we partner with Blockchain Generation in organizing uh, demo days uh, across uh, US, Europe um, and uh, uh, we host, co-hosted the three events uh, in Malta, London, and Zurich, uh, and uh, there featured uh, high-quality companies were carefully selected and uh, presented in uh, these European locations in front of uh, local high-quality investors and venture capitalists. Um, all these companies are planning um, initial token offerings with one world online advertising tools. That's why we are partnering uh, to uh, co-host these events together. And uh, this is our um, next uh, uh, coming up events, uh, uh, demo days, I'm sorry. And uh, the closest uh, actually is gonna be tomorrow. So tomorrow we are, um, organizing um, blockchain generation demo day in San Francisco and we have um, a lot of um, great companies to present uh, so you can see here on the right side and after this uh, demo day um, we are going to Asia where we are gonna uh, do the same thing with the Asian market in Hong Kong Singapore and Bali uh, and um, uh, and generate more leads uh, from local companies and local partners. And these are my main updates uh, uh, for this month. And um, I'm really excited for all the uh, new clients that we are having from this um, uh, demo day events. And uh, I hope well, we, can, uh, we can have more in the future. And now I'm going to our head of product, Dan Brodovich, to talk about uh, product updates. Um, Dan, please take over. Yes, thank you, Anastasia, and hello, everyone. Um, so last month, we had uh, quite a uh, big number of uh, performance improvement updates and bug fixes. Uh, even though oh, one world tools are working perfectly fine. And, and while we are moving towards optimization, we want uh, more and more uh, uh, third party uh, uh, organizations and users to uh, develop uh, campaigns themselves without support of one world staff. And therefore it's very critical for us to make sure that uh, any poll or uh, widget or and, uh, advertising campaign will be perfect no matter how much uh, text they add or number of uh, questions and so forth. Uh, therefore, it's a kind of one of the uh, big steps to make sure that once the product is out, we are, uh, don't have, um, once the optimization uh, is out, we don't have complaints from our customers uh, regarding how the widgets perform or look like. And this month we uh, released uh, an update that allow um, all widgets to appear on Internet Explorer and Edge, Microsoft Edge. So even though uh, Internet Explorer lost its share uh, dramatically in the past couple of years, it's still stabilized on around 10% of uh, usage on desktop uh, um, 
users. And uh, I believe that this share is going to uh, stay there at least for some time. And uh, we were missing out uh, on uh, uh, almost 10% of desktop uh, market by not uh, having more widgets actively there. Um, and, uh, and now we are happy to say that we are uh, fully supportive of all the browsers. Uh, I would say top top five uh, browsers without uh, any issues there, both on mobile and uh, um, uh, desktop. And one of the big uh, uh, action items which uh, we're working on is uh, the actual optimization of uh, or advertising campaigns uh, in introduction of 100% uh, 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 optimization. And uh, here we have a progress that we already uh, created the acquisition page view. Uh, we made the sign up, sign in working, and uh, we had to make a significant improvements and refactorings and user roles to make sure that there are no uh, issues uh, for or advertisers who are self-registered and want to uh, make sure that, you know, we want to run their ads without the uh, reach out to us. And this is a huge step because this would allow us to um, um, become uh, pretty much Google AdWords and uh, give our solution uh, to agencies where they be able to support or uh, clients uh, and uh, eventually uh, scale up uh, or offering uh, worldwide. So I already uh, showed the, the uh, work in progress uh, dashboard for advertisers last time. So we'll go this time very quickly for those uh, uh, who haven't been on the previous webinar. Uh, so that's a general dashboard. That's what happens when the user uh, creates its first campaign. And uh, here, uh, the setup of uh, regarding targeting to make sure that you know, we are showing more interactive ads to the uh, right audience. And uh, here is the budget. Um, settings. So here, uh, four times of uh, advertising options, uh, user uh, or advertisers could choose, and especially the work of uh, uh, performing policy and ad. In this a cabinet that would allow users to uh, pay for advertising, we have one world tokens, Bitcoin, um, other crypto, and uh, of course, uh, credit cards. So we still would accept uh, fiat. And of course, one of the more important uh, uh, things is a, a campaign performance and optimization. And uh, we want to make sure that we show all the relevant info that allow um, agencies and individual advertisers to uh, optimize their campaigns uh, uh, and to be on the top of the game. And the next part I'd like to uh, cover is our token and crypto exchange update. First of all, I have to uh, show you the short disclaimer uh, stating that one world is a utility token and it's a not a speculative asset. And the main purpose is uh, to uh, have a circulation within one world ecosystem. And uh, here is our general trading dynamics of one world uh, token um, this month. So you, there, uh, there are uh, two main uh, issues that affected the token dynamics was uh, pretty much the crypto market stabilization in general compared to the previous month. And uh, I mean, th that's uh, one of the reasons why the token was uh, so stable. And uh, there were ups and downs uh, uh, a few uh, times. So uh, th there are some uh, speculation going on in the market that you cannot uh, uh, control every, uh, this part, and uh, the second and the second uh, thing that uh, did affect the the, the uh, token dynamics is uh, because we didn't have 
too many significant update, uh, updates this month because we have our main uh, focus uh, on our optimization, which uh, should, uh, once completed, which should have a major excitement uh, since that would allow us to scale dramatically uh, uh, to our clients. And uh, of course, that would increase uh, our uh, token usage and uh, improve the uh, token uh, ecosystem where we'll have a large dramatic, uh, a large uh, use case of, of the tokens uh, uh, without the need working with uh, client one, one by one, sit in helping up setting the campaign. Uh, that's what often happens uh, at this point. Regarding exchanges in general, so I just uh, want to bring up uh, an Everbloom uh, decentralized cryptocurrency exchange, which is not that large at all. Uh, it's a little bit uh, below 1 million in trading volume, but uh, this could be an alternative for those uh, who have uh, MetaMask and uh, don't want to register and go through the complicated uh, or somewhat complicated process on cryptos uh, going through KYC. Um, uh, Everbloom allows uh, to, tr uh, to trade and uh, withdraw funds uh, to anyone who has a MetaMask. Um, that's a plugin for Ethereum wallet, uh, Google Chrome extension. And uh, pretty much anybody uh, can register and have a trade there. But I have to say that we don't have uh, such a huge uh, uh, trading volume and activity like, for example, we have on Cryptos. So it takes some time for orders to pick up, but uh, they do eventually. And um, one of the things that uh, uh, just keep in mind that it's a, it's a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange and uh, this do cause some uh, delays in transaction that's it's not as fast as, uh, or you know, efficient as uh, traditional exchanges but uh, it has advantage of uh, you being in control of uh, your tokens and uh, almost no risks associated by operating on such exchanges. Uh, this exchange is uh, not on coin market cap uh, because uh, uh, they're not all exchanges that, especially decentralized exchanges that are supported by coin market cap. So that's why uh, I'm um, bringing to your attention that uh, uh, because some of you may not know, but we also listed uh, on uh, Everbloom Exchange as well. So we are um, working on uh, and communicating with uh, other exchanges as well, uh, but we want to make sure that uh, our uh, rollout and exchanges uh, have uh, economic sense and uh, we will do it uh, in the same time and order when we'll be rolling out or major features that, that would allow us to scale up all our processes. And uh, uh, once, so uh, we really expect to be uh, listed uh, on more exchanges uh, in within a uh, couple of months and to support or uh, uh, self uh, register uh, self registration and an advertising platform that allow us to scale up uh, quite significantly uh, back to you Anastasia thank you thank you very much then uh, for uh, very uh, long awaited updates regarding exchanges I uh, uh, I hope our mm, our community is uh, oh, very happy to try a new exchange and uh, also thank you for product updates uh, it's gonna be uh, very easy and smooth for our uh, marketers and for our clients to use uh, uh, campaign management and uh, here's a schedule of our upcoming webinars uh, uh, we have just two webinars left in this year, so please uh, don't miss out this opportunity to participate in our update, uh, update uh, webinar. Uh, we are really uh, happy that you joined us. Um, 
And um, if uh, you want to uh, keep in touch, uh, please uh, make sure that you follow us uh, on all social media channels and also uh, you joined our Telegram and WhatsApp uh, chats. We are happy to answer all your questions there. And if you have any other questions, you can uh, send uh, them to support at oneworldonline.com. Thank you everyone who joined this webinar um, uh, and have a nice day. Thanks Anastasia.